Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a, a level two more three twisting class. So we get into some handstands and lots of arm balances. If you enjoyed these classes, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more, if you have any feedback or any class requests, head over to my Instagram, which is in the show notes down that way. Or we're going to get started in a comfortable cross-legged position. Starting in a comfortable cross-legged position, sit up tall through the spine. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. One more like that, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Inviting in your Ujjayi Pranayama. Gently blinking, open the eyes on your next inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, twist to the right, bringing the left hand to the right knee, the right hand behind you. Here's your inhale to take you taller, and your exhale to twist you deeper. Take two more breaths here like this. And then on your inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, coming through center. And then as you exhale, take it over to the other side. Nice deep inhale to grow tall. And then nice deep exhale to twist a little deeper. And then as you inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then as you exhale, bring the hands to the knees. As you inhale, bring the chest forward and start to circle over towards the right. As you exhale, hollow out the belly, round all the way through the back, over to the left. And then as you inhale, bring the chest forward to the left, circle it all the way around to the right, and then repeat. Just making these nice, big circles and see if you can isolate the spine from the pelvis. Try and keep the pelvis grounded on the floor and really bring the movement into the spine even if you have to slow it down. And then bring yourself through center, reverse the movement. And then bring yourself through center, rolling over the shins, coming onto all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Plant the left hand, inhale, sweep the right arm up. And then as you exhale, plant the right hand down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Exhale, plant it down. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, down, keeping the pelvis neutral. Inhale, left. Exhale down. Inhale right. Exhale down. One more. Inhale left. Exhale down. This time inhale, sweep the right arm up and overhead. And then as you exhale, thread it through. Keeping the hips high, come to rest on the back of that right shoulder. Take an inhale. And a full exhale. Unwind the arm, inhale, sweep it up to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring it back to neutral. Take the left arm up on an inhale. And then as you exhale, thread it through. Keeping the hips high, come to rest on the back of the left shoulder, the left ear. And as you inhale, sweep that left arm up to the sky. Exhale, bring it down. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths to pedal out. 
And then as you inhale, rise high on the toes. Exhale, ripple the spine forward into a plank pose. Take it back as you inhale, reach the hips high. And then drop the heels over to the right, shift forward into a twisted plank. And then take the hips up and back. Shift the hips over to the left, take it forward. And then up and back. Come back through center, shift it forward on your into your plank. Bend the knees to hover, send the hips back to the heels and then straighten out through the legs. Take the heels over to the right, shift forward into your twisted plank. Keep the twist as you bend the knees, send the hips back to the heels and then bring it back up. Take the heels over to the left, shift forward into your twisted plank. Keep the twist, bend the knees, send the hips back and then raise all the way up into your downward facing dog. Look towards the hands, start to walk the feet all the way up towards the hands. Take the left hand towards the center, gen gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, sweep the right arm to the sky. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, sweep the left arm to the sky. Exhale, bring it down. One more each side. bend in through the knees drop the tailbone as you start to roll up the length of the sp spine coming all the way to standing inhale sweep the arms up and overhead keep the hips facing forward as you exhale send the right arm back the left arm forward inhale bring it up and overhead exhale take left arm back right arm forward inhale through center exhale back to the right Inhale through center, exhale to the left. Inhale through center, Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Lower halfway, chaturanga, lower the knees if you need to. Inhale, press straight back to plank today. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then here you're going to walk your feet in a little bit, plant the left hand, reach back for the left ankle with the right hand, reaching the right elbow off to the right, twisted downward dog. And then take the right hand back to the top of the mat. Look towards the top. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float to chaturanga. Hover. Inhale, press straight back up to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet back in again, this time ground the right hand, reach back with the left for the right ankle, drawing the left elbow to the left, looking out underneath the right shoulder. Look back to the top, plant both hands, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Chaturanga, hover. Inhale, strong back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a little bit. Take the right hand to the left ankle. You can stay here or start to shift the weight to the left foot, bringing that right leg up to float. If 
you raise the foot, take it down, plant both hands, step, walk or float, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, inhale, raise all the way up, exhale to fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step, walk or float, hover, inhale to plank, exhale to dog. Walk the feet in a bit, take the left hand to the right ankle, stay or shift the weight towards the right, start to bring that left leg up to float or hover. You can take it as high or low as you want. And taking that left leg down, plant the left hand, step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale to fold. Last one, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, hover. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Exhale, at the bottom of your exhale, step, walk or float to the top. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. And we're going to come into an open twist to the right for five breaths. Keep the knees even, twisting back through the right rib cage, draw the right hip forward. Inhale, come up through chair. Keep the bend in the knees. Exhale, sweep the left arm back, the right arm forward. Keep the knees even, sink the hips a little lower. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, press to plank. Exhale, step it back. Step the right leg forward, runner's lunge, take an inhale, shine the chest. And then as you exhale, step it back. Option, single leg, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Step the left leg forward, runner's lunge, inhale. Exhale, step it back, option, single leg. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, sweep the right arm back. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, sweep the left arm back. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step, walk or float. Inhale to plank. Exhale to downward dog. Step the right leg forward, extended pyramid pose. Inhale, straighten the front leg. And then as you exhale, take it back through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Step the left leg forward. Inhale into your extended pyramid. And then as you exhale, take it back through a vinyasa. No back bends today. Meet in downward facing dog. And from here, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly lower the elbows down. Walk the feet back. We're coming into a forearm plank. From here, you're going to plant the right hand under the right shoulder, left hand under the left shoulder, coming back into plank, shift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. 
inhale as you come to stand bring the right leg with you knee to chest you can keep the knee bent or take the left hand to the outside of the left foot and extend the leg as you send the right arm back if it's too much to have the knee straight you just keep the knee bent and hold on to the knee Keep the hips even. From here, keep the twist, and all you're gonna do is release the hand. If your knee was bent, see if you can straighten out the knee, but make sure you don't hike the right hip up towards the sky. Keep the shoulders stacked over the hips. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, you're gonna sweep that right leg back. Cartwheel the right hand down. We're coming into twisted half moon. Draw the left hip back and up, and sweep the left arm towards the sky. I don't know if you can hear the song, but it's because I got high. It seems like a very fitting song for a yoga class. quiet Sunday afternoons in Puerto Vallarta. And from here we're going to step back to either a twisted triangle or a twisted pyramid, your choice. So you can either step heel to heel alignment with the back foot turned in on an angle or both feet parallel and the back foot lifted. It depends how your knees feel. The right arm stays down and you're still twisting open to the left. And then cartwheel the hands down, take it back through your vinyasa option to keep that leg floating. Straight from chaturanga to plank, exhale downward facing dog. At the bottom of your exhale, look towards the top of the mat, step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold. As you come to standing, bring that left leg with you and either taking a hold of the outside of the left foot or the left knee. A twisting the left arm to the back of the room. Keep standing tall through the spine, two more breaths. And then from here, you're gonna let go of the foot or the knee, reach the right arm forward, keep the twist, and if you can, extend through the left leg. From here, start to sweep that left leg back as you cartwheel the left arm forward, coming into your twisted half moon. Maybe taking the hand to the sacrum to see that the pelvis is even as you rotate the right rib cage open to the right. Sweep the right arm back to the sky. Strong engagement through that back glute. Try and straighten out the knee if you can. And then from here, you're going to step that left foot towards the back of the mat, either coming heel to heel alignment or feet parallel for twisted triangle or twisted pyramid. Drawing that right hip back. You can always take the left hand to a block if you need to. Exhale, cartwheel that hand down to the floor. Take it back through your vinyasa. 
and then shift it forward into plank. We're holding in plank for five breaths. If you wanna get a little bit more strength in the hands and the wrists, you can prop up onto your fingertips, coming into a cupcake hand plank. Make sure that the shoulders don't creep up by the ears and you keep the engagement of the legs and the lower belly. onto the fingertips, take the palms down, shift it back to downward dog, look to the top, step, walk or float, inhale, lengthen, exhale to fold, inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose, and then as you exhale, sweep that right arm back, inhale, take it up, exhale, sweep the left arm back, inhale, sweep it forward, exhale, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, plant the hands, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale to dog. Step the right leg forward as you inhale, power lunge, reach the arms straight forward, hug the right hip in. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, exhale, dog. Step the left leg forward, hug the hip in. Inhale, power lunge torso at a 45 and then as you exhale step it back chaturanga inhale to plank exhale to dog look towards the top of the mat step walk or float inhale lift and lengthen exhale to fold bend the knees sink the hips chair pose inhale exhale open twist right inhale to chair exhale open twist left Inhale to chair, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, plant the hands, step walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale, downward dog. Step the right foot, lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana. And then as you exhale, cross the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, unwind, plant the hands, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, exhale, downward dog. Step the left leg forward, lower the back knee. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, cross right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, step it back through your vinyasa. And then from here, we're gonna come into Parivrita Kundinyasana. So take the right leg up as you inhale. And then as you exhale, draw the knee towards the chest. Start to bring it over towards the left arm. If you can, start to bend the elbows and hook the right leg to the back of the left elbow. Sometimes you need to put the foot on the floor to get it up there. And then bring the left leg off, shooting the right leg out to the right for twisted kundinyasana. Lift the chest away from the floor. And then from here, if you can, you're gonna shoot it straight back to chaturanga. Plank. Exhale, downward dog, and we try the second side. If it's too much to come in from a dynamic entrance, then you can walk the feet closer and hook the elbow that way. Otherwise, inhale, sweep the left leg up. As you exhale, draw the knee as close into the chest as you can. Twist towards the right, start to bend the elbows, and then hook that left leg to the back of the right tricep. Extend the left leg off to the left, the right leg out to the back of the mat. And then if you can, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, and an exhale. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, step walk or float to the top of the mat. <laughs> inhale, halfway lift lengthen. 
exhale fold. Inhale, sink the hips, bend the knees, chair pose. And then as you exhale, hands to prayer, hook that left elbow to the outside of the right knee, keeping the knees in line, drawing the left hip back slightly, and the head is directly in the midline of the toes or the midline of the body. If it's in your practice, you can always open your arms here, the right arm to the sky, the left arm to the floor. Keep the hips low, inhale, come through chair, and then exhale, take it over to the other side. One more breath here. And then exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hand, step or core float, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right leg forward, keep the left hand down. Inhale, twisted runner's lunge, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, plant the hand, take it back, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Step the left leg forward, sweep the left arm, inhale, twisted runner's lunge. And then as you exhale, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, exhale, dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. As you exhale, tap the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, tap right elbow. Inhale through center. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step, walk or float. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. This time we're coming into twisted pyramid. So as you inhale, straighten the right leg, sweep the right arm to the side or to the sky. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. On your inhale, straighten the left leg, open the chest, open to the left, twisted pyramid. And then as you exhale, plant the hand down, take it back through a vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. From here, you're going to lower the elbows both at the same time and start to walk the feet in for your dolphin pose. From here, if you can, lift both elbows at the same time, coming back into your downward dog. Look to the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. As you come to standing, bring the right leg with you, taking a hold of either the right knee or the right foot, coming back into our standing twist. And then letting go of the foot or the knee. If your knee was bent, see if you can extend it. Keeping that right hip level with the left. Right rib cage working towards the back of the room. Right hip working towards the front of the room. And then start to sweep that right leg back, 
cartwheel the right arm down coming into your twisted half moon. And then from here, stepping the right leg back, coming into your twisted triangle or your twisted pyramid, your choice. Keeping length through the spine is your priority. This time you're going to bend into the left knee, bring that right knee behind the left, coming into a twisted Shiva squat. So if you can, hook that right elbow to the outside of the left knee, keep twisting towards the left, drawing that right heel in towards the glute. And then planting the hands, step that left leg to the back of the mat or hop it back. Take it through a vinyasa. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. As you stand, bring the left leg with you, taking a hold of that left foot or knee with the right hand coming into your twist on the left. listening to the chickens have a party in the background. And then from here, you're gonna release the hand if the knee was bent, see if you can straighten it. This time working the left rib cage to the back of the room the left hip to the front. And then cartwheeling the hands down, sweep the left hand back, take the left hand down, rotate the right rib cage up to the sky, the right arm to the sky. Strong engagement through the back leg, extending length out through the head. And then from here, stepping back into your twisted triangle or your twisted pyramid. Taking a gentle bend into the right knee, Draw that left knee to the back of the right knee, coming into a twisted Shiva squat, taking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee if you can. And then taking the hands down, Hopping that right leg to the back of the mat. Inhale into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, you're going to walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. So your hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders. So about a handprint distance away from your foot, maybe a little bit more forward. From here, you're going to shift your weight forward into your hands, come up onto the tippy toes, and then you're going to try and float your toes to the backs of your wrist, and then walk the hands forward again. 
shift the weight into the hands, float the feet to the back of the wrists, just taking a press walk to the top of the mat. And then we're going to do the same in reverse. So not quite as smooth of a movement, but you're going to press the weight into the hands and then you're just going to float the feet back a little bit. Maybe it's more of a hop. Either way, you're engaging the abs. Walk the hands back, press the weight into the hands, hop the feet back, and then make your way all the way to the back of the mat. And then from here, crawl it out into your downward facing dog. Take an inhale, exhale. At the bottom of your exhale, step walk or float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose, inhale. As you exhale, tap left elbow, right knee. Inhale through chair. Exhale, tap right elbow, left knee. Inhale through chair. Exhale, plant the hands, step walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, you're going to shift forward, take the weight over to the right hand, side of the right foot. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, take the left hand down, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale to downward facing dog. Shift the weight forward, rotate onto the left side. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, take it down, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, downward, uh, sorry, exhale, forward, forward. Bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, tap left elbow, right knee. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, tap right knee. Uh, right elbow, left knee. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step walk or flip. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward, this time as you inhale, come up to crescent. And then twist over towards the right, hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Exhale. Take another inhale here, strong engage the back leg. And then exhale, plant the hands, take it through your vinyasa. Step the left leg forward on your inhale, raise all the way up. And then bring the palms together as you exhale, twist, hooking the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, bring it all the way down, take it through your vinyasa. From here, we're going to come into Dwipada Kundinyasana. So you can either come into your twisted Kundinyasana from a dynamic entrance or from a static entrance. So if you need to, hop the feet to the middle of the mat, come into a side crow and then come into it that way. Otherwise, from your downward dog, inhale, sweep the right leg up, exhale, start to twist the right knee towards the left elbow, just like we did before, hook the knee to the back of the elbow. And this time you're gonna extend both legs over towards the left. And then if you can, you're gonna hop both legs back to Chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Second side, shorten your stance if you need to. Inhale, sweep that left leg up. Exhale, draw it towards the chest. Start to twist, bend in through the right elbow. Hook the left leg to the back of the right elbow. Draw both knees in, and then extend both legs off to the right. Dwipada Kundinyasana. And then if you can, hop both legs to the back of the mat, chaturanga. 
inhale to plank exhale downward facing dog take a full inhale full exhale look towards the top of the mat step walk or float <laughs> inhale lift and lengthen exhale to fold bend the knees sink the hips chair pose inhale as you exhale twist that left elbow to the outside of the right knee start to raise up onto the toes and sink yourself down into a little toe squat stay here or twist the knees to the left plant the hands at the top of the mat side crow parivrita bakasana And then from here, if you can, float it to the back of the mat. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose. And then cross that right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Raise up onto the toes, come down into your little toe squat. Stay here or swing both of the knees to the right, coming into your side crow. And then if you can, floating both feet to the back of the mat, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale downward facing dog inhale sweep the right leg up exhale step it through cartwheel the arm open coming into a twisted crescent lunge on your inhale right arm back left arm forward exhale plant the hands take it down to chaturanga inhale plank exhale downward dog inhale sweep the left leg up exhale step it through inhale take that left arm back right arm forward twisted crescent and then as you exhale, take it through. Look to the top of the mat, step, walk or float. <laughs> Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Your choice, you can either elbow tap or open twist. Inhale, come into your chair. Exhale, come into your twist of choice on the right. Inhale to chair. Exhale, twist to the left inhale to chair exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift lengthen exhale step walk or float chaturanga inhale to plank exhale downward facing dog inhale sweep the right leg up exhale step it forward draw the left knee to the back of the right knee coming into our twisted shiva squat take one inhale and then exhale, plant the hands, hop that right foot to the back of the mat, vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, exhale, step it to the top of the mat, draw that left knee to the back of the right, come into your twist, take a full inhale, and then exhale, plant the hands, hop it to the back of the mat, vinyasa. one elbow at a time or both at the same time lowering the elbows down to the floor you can come into um you can come into dolphin you can come into a single leg dolphin or if it's in your practice practicing pincha mayarasana take it to your level you can always take a headstand here And take one more breath and then lowering it back down coming back into your downward facing dog take an inhale and an exhale look towards the top of the mat step walk or float inhale halfway lift lengthen exhale to fold 
as you come to stand, bring that right leg with you, taking the left hand to the left knee or foot, coming into your twist. Sorry, left hand to right knee or foot. And then letting go of your grip, extending the right leg if you haven't already. Cartwheeling the hands down. Right hand comes to the floor or block, even off through the pelvis, twisting half moon. And then stepping that left leg back, twisted pyramid or twisted triangle. And then taking a slight bend in through that left leg, draw the right knee to the back of the left knee coming into your twisted shiva squat hooking the elbow if you can you can always bring those left toes down to the floor if you need to And then from here, you're going to keep this little twist, just slide the right knee down to the outside of the left ankle, and then start to sit down in between your feet. Rehook that right elbow if you need to. Take the left hand behind you, Adha Matsyandrasana. And then unwind yourself, plant your hands to the top of the mat, step walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step walk or float, inhale lengthen, exhale to fold. Bring the left leg with you as you stand, inhale, and then take a hold of the left knee or the left foot coming into your twist. And then releasing the grip, extending the leg if you haven't already. It's the last time that we're here, so give it your all. And then sweep that left leg back, cartwheel the left arm down, twisting half moon. Step the left leg back, twisting triangle or twisting pyramid.
gentle bend in through the right knee. Draw the left knee to the back of the right, coming into your twisted Shiva squat. Keeping the twist if you can, just slide that left knee to the outside of the right ankle. Come to sit between the heels. Take the right hand behind you. Inhale, lift tall. And then exhale, twist a little deeper. If it's too much to hook the elbow, you can always just coat hang your the knee instead. from here unwinding planting the hands jump it back chaturanga inhale plank exhale downward facing dog from here we're either going to take handstand or handstand hops so bringing the hands directly underneath the shoulders shorten your downward dog take your favorite leg up and as opposed to thinking of kicking over as if you were going to kick into a wall think of kicking up so shift the weight forward, gaze between the thumbs, and then either take some hops or catch a balance. Take a couple more breaths to play. And then coming back down, take a forward fold, catch your breath. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Inhale, chair pose. Your twist, exhale to the right. Inhale, come into chair. Exhale to the left. Inhale to chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Shift forward, inhale, rotate to the outside edge of the right foot. This time, lifting up through the left leg, single leg side plank, inhale. And then as you exhale, take it down through your chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale to dog. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, rotate to the outside edge of the left foot. As you inhale, sweep the right arm and the right leg up. And then exhale, rotate it down, chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Inhale, chair pose. Last time here, exhale, your twist. Inhale, chair. Exhale, twist. Inhale, chair. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step, walk or float. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, sweep the arms up and over. And then this time as you exhale, you're gonna come into your twisted crescent lunge, interlace the hands behind you, and then start to reach the torso forward at a 45. So we're kind of in a twisted bound power lunge. Take an extra breath here. And then as you exhale, release the hands, plant them down, take it through your chaturanga. Inhale to plank, exhale to dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, exhale, step it through. Inhale, rotate open to your twisted crescent, and then exhale, interlace the hands behind you. Start to lean the torso forward on a 45, take an extra inhale. 
And then as you exhale, plant the hands, take it through a vinyasa. And then from here, we're going to step, walk or float through to a seat. We're coming into Ashtavakrasana. We're going to start from the ground up. So you can have your right leg straight out in front of you. Bend your left leg and grab a hold of the sole of your left foot. Take your left knee behind your left shoulder like you're wearing it, like a backpack. Plant the left hand down to the outside of the left hip. Plant the right hand down to the outside of the right hip. Start by lifting the bum and then lift the right heel. Maybe you stay here or hook the right foot on top of the left. Swing the feet off to the left. The left leg is resting on the back of the left tricep as you reach the feet over towards the left and reach the chest forward. Ashtavakrasana. And then start to straighten out through the arms. Bring the feet back to the top of the mat and then drop the hips. Extend the left leg out in front of you. Grab around the sole of the right foot. Take that right knee over the back of the right shoulder. The higher you can get it, the easier it is. Plant the right hand to the outside of the right hip. Left hand to the outside of the left hip. Lift the bum. Lift the left heel. Hook it over the top of the right foot. And then start to swing the legs to the right as you shift the torso forward. Think of hugging those elbows towards each other just like you would in Chaturanga. And then start to straighten out through the elbows. Bring the legs back to the front and then lower down onto the bum. Woo, we made it. So feel free to do some core work, uh, sorry, feel free to pause and practice any of those arm balances, handstands, whatever you want to play with. Otherwise, we're going to go into a little bit of core work and then we are going to cool it down. So make your way onto your back. We're going to do some bicycles, good old bicycles. So bring your legs into a tabletop position and take the hands behind the head. You want to feel the lower back not completely jammed into the back but a natural curve not arching away from the floor. Take an inhale and then as you exhale lift yourself up. Take an inhale here and then as you exhale you're just going to take the right leg forward at a 45 and then inhale it back to tabletop. Exhale, take the left leg forward. X, inhale to tabletop. Keep going like this. And what I want you to feel is that your lower back isn't arching away from the floor. Your ribs aren't flaring and your pelvis isn't wobbling from side to side. Relax through the neck and jaw. And if this is going well, as you inhale, extend the right leg, and this time tap the heel down towards the floor, only going so far that you don't feel your lower back lift. Draw it back up to tabletop, and then do the left. Keep going like this. So if you can only lower halfway down, that's fine. This is definitely a quality over depth sort of thing. As soon as you start to arch through your back and start to flare through your ribs, you've lost the movement and you're not going to get any strength in your abs. You're just going to hurt your lower back. So if this is going well, then the next time you extend your left leg, you're going to twist your left shoulder towards your left knee. So as opposed to thinking of jamming in and getting the elbow to the knee, Think of drawing the right shoulder to the floor, the left elbow towards the right knee, and then switch it out. Left elbow to the floor, right shoulder to left knee, and then switch it out. The slower you go, the harder it is. The harder it is, the more effective it is. It's your choice.
Take two more on each side. And then once you're even, lower the head. Give the knees a squeeze into the chest for a moment. And if that was tricky with bent legs, then you can stay with bent legs. If you want more, then you're going to extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Exactly the same principles apply, except now you've got a longer lever and it's going to be harder. So take an inhale and then as you exhale, curl the chest up and start by just lowering the right leg and then bringing it back up and then lowering the left leg, bringing it back up. You can stay here. Or the next time that you lower the right leg, you're going to twist the right shoulder to the left knee, keeping the leg straight, bring it through center, and then twist it in the opposite direction. Keep going. You can keep the hands behind the head, or if you want to, as you twist to the left, uh, sorry, as you twist to the right, you can reach the left arm to the outside of the right leg, bring it through center, and then take the right arm to the outside of the left leg bring it through center. Maybe this time you take both hands to the outside of the right leg, bring it through center, both arms to the outside of the left leg, bring it through center. One more on each side, whatever variation you're doing. Come through center and then slowly lower down onto your back. And we're going to take a bridge pose to stretch that out. So plant down through the feet. The feet can face out slightly as long as the knees also face out slightly. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, just roll the hips up off the floor. Engaging through the glutes and hamstrings. Shoulders are relaxed. And if you wanted to take a restorative bridge here and put a block underneath your sacrum, you're more than welcome. lowering the hips down from here you're going to keep the feet planted come up onto your elbows and make your way into a seat we're going to come into a reverse tabletop so the fingers are under the shoulders they can face the heels or they can face out slightly take an inhale and then as you exhale you're just going to lift the hips to the sky opening up through the entire front body if it's comfortable for you with control you can slowly release the head back but don't let the head just drop back. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to straighten through the legs. Shift the hips back between the hands to hover. And then release the hips down. Paschimottanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, take a fold forward. Coming up to sit. You can take a hip opener of your choice. We didn't do any deep hip openers, so I would suggest just taking a simple cross legged position, maybe a Gomukhasana if you feel like it. Wherever you are, take an inhale, sit up nice and tall, and then exhale, just start to crawl the body forward. And then walking yourself back up and you're just going to switch the cross of your legs 
and then inhale sit up nice and tall exhale crawl it forward and then start to walk it in. So you've got a couple of options here. You can come into a traditional Shavasana or I'm gonna finish in a cross-legged seated position today. You can always come to a wall and bring the legs up the wall if that works best for you. Wherever you are, making any final movements and then taking a nice deep inhale through the nose and then letting it go through the mouth. One more just like that, nice deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And then just taking some time here to let the body be still, and let the body be heavy. Taking a moment to be a human being and not a human doing. Please stay here for as long as you have time for or as long as you need to. Today, as you go forward, may you have joy in your thoughts, gratitude in your words, and a calmness in your heart. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.